Now that we have completed a series of adjusting entries, we will now have to update our balances on the ledger and on our uh, trial balance. So let's take a look at our ledger and see how we can post these. Now this is typically going to be the same exact process as you used when you had been uh, posting your general journal entries. The only difference here is now we get to rate something on the item line. So let's start with this first one, supplies expense. Let's scroll down, supplies expense here. Okay, January 31st. It is an adjusting entry. Now remember in this post column, what do we always put? The page of the journal. So here it's on the second page of the journal, so we do J2. And what did we do to supplies expense here? Well, we debited it for 1200, so we have a 1200 debit balance. Now remember, one more step before we finish up, we have to put the account number in this post ref. So 52. All right, that next one, supplies, let's move up there and take a look what's going on with supplies. There we go. Supplies on January 31st, and this is an adjusting entry. Second page of the journal. In this case, we credit it for 1,200. So what is the new balance in supplies? Well, we started with 2,000. We decreased it by 1,200, so now we have $800 in that account. If you remember our entries for those adjusting entries, it said supplies on hand at the end of the month were 800. Well, there is that balance, $800 left in supplies. So everything comes full circle, 15, there we go. Now insurance expense, let's scroll down to our insurance expense account. Second page of the journal. We debited that account for 500, so it's a 500 balance and that was account 54. Now prepaid insurance, let's scroll back up to our assets. Adjusting, second page of the journal. What did we do to prepaid insurance? We decreased it by $500. So now we have 6,000 minus 500, we have 5,500 left in that account. Remember that 5,500, um, every month or you know every quarter or at the end of the year we are going to slowly decrease this balance until as each month expires and eventually it should have a balance of zero at the end of this year. Okay and last step. Okay wages expense scroll down to our expenses. Okay, so wages expense, we debited that account for 700, so we have a $700 debit balance, and the account number was 51. Now wages payable, back up to our liabilities. Okay. And what do we do to wages payable? We credit it for 700, so we have a $700 credit balance. And let's put in the account number to say, yep, done, posted to the ledger. Okay, accounts receivable, back up to assets. Adjusting, second page of the journal, $500. So what is the balance in this account? 1500 plus, remember these are both debits, they're both increase. So that comes to 2000. Now keep in mind, those rules that we learned about debits and credits and about how they affect each different type of account, those are incredibly important. We are going to keep going back to those rules over and over and over again. So if you really memorize them now, they are going to help you a lot in the long run because these are basic foundations that you are learning. So you want to master everything that we learn here in this series. Okay, last step. Okay, and fees earned. Let's scroll down to those fees earned. On January 31st, we had some additional fees earned, and that was for $500 credit. So we had 9,500 in the account. We just added 500 to that, so that gives us a 10,000 credit balance in fees earned. No, 41. So we are done posting all of those adjusting entries. Oh, actually, one second.
adjusting. There we go. So we've adjusted everything. We've posted them to the ledger. So our next step now would be to update our um, unadjusted trial balance and now we'll make it an adjusted trial balance. So let me see if I can find that next piece. Let's see, actually, here we go. There we go. So now we are going to be playing with this unadjusted trial balance and we are going to make it an adjusted trial balance by updating each of those numbers. So let me see if I can format this. So it'll be a little bit easier for us to see. Okay, there we go. So we have an unadjusted trial balance and we have a series of updated balances. So this is no longer our unadjusted trial balance. We are going to update this to be our adjusted trial balance. So everything else is pretty much going to stay the same in this header section. This is just going to go from unadjusted to adjusted. It's still CK company. It's still the end of the month. We just did one more step in our accounting cycle and now it's adjusted. So let's go ahead and update these balances. Is cash still 47,000? Yep. Uh, accounts receivable, is that still 1,500? No, that one was updated to 2,000. So let's update that balance. Are supplies still 2,000? No, it is now 800, so that one will also be updated. Okay, how about for prepaid insurance here? Uh, prepaid insurance is now only 5,500, so that one was updated as well. There we go. Okay, how about for accounts payable? Well, now that still has a balance of zero, so that didn't change. Wages payable, that one got updated. Now we have 700 in wages payable. Unearned fees still has a balance of zero. Capital still has a $50,000 balance. Drawing still has no balance. Fees earned, that one got updated. Now it is 10,000 ending balance. There's our 10,000. Okay, now how about wages expense? Wages expense is now a debit of 700. Supplies expense is now a debit of 1200. Rent expense, still 3000, no changes there. Insurance expense, that one is now 500. And utilities expense, that one is still a balance of zero, so we're good there. And of course, your final check, just like we learned previously when we were doing those trial balances, they still equal 60,700, 60,700. That's a good indication that we probably did everything correctly, and I can guarantee that we did everything correctly here. So you're good to go in that case. Now, just like last time, if you want to, you can update this by adding commas and um, uh, dollar signs. So now you have journal entries. You have a fully filled out ledger. You will have an unadjusted trial balance. You will have adjusting entries and you will have an adjusted trial balance. So the next step will be to do our financial statements using this adjusted trial balance. So that will be next in this series. So we will see you soon and happy studying.